In this sponsored tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Taskade project management app. It's designed for small, nimble teams, college groups, freelancers, startups with contractors, and agencies with multiple clients. I'm going to walk through how it all works in this tutorial. And through the generosity of the developer, I managed to get you guys 100 free upgrades to the paid version. There's a free forever version, but there's also an upgraded version. The first 100 people who want the upgraded version can get that for free. There's details to that in the description down below if you want to check out the paid version of Taskade. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. For me, one of the most important things a project management app has to have is ease of use. If it's not easy to use, I'm going to find it hard to learn. People who are working with me are going to find it hard to learn. It's going to be hard to use. So the easier it is to use, the better. And the great thing about Taskade is it's powerful, but it also is easy to use. And the first thing you want to do is create a workspace inside your account. You press the plus button, and that workspace, I would say, is something like, it could be its own business. It could be clients. Each individual client could be their own workspace. And then within there, let's say, this is an example here, the Hiker's Life brand. I just made that up. There's a similar brand out there, but I'm not trying to copy what they're doing. I'm just trying to make this up as an example. So Hiker's Life is a brand. It's going to have a website. It's going to have a YouTube channel. I'm going to teach clients how to hike, for example. And so that's our workspace is Hiker's Life. Inside of there, I have a subspace for the blog, for the YouTube channel, for coaching clients. You can create more subspaces if you want. Just click on New Subspace. Give it a name. Hiking Camp. Let's give it a different color. You can add a photo if you want right here. You can add emojis like... This one right here. Click on new subspace when you're ready. You can share it with people who are working with you. I'm going to just close that and not share. Now we have a new subspace. And within each subspace, we have the ability to add projects, tasks. Roadmap is a, a view, a visualization of your tasks and projects if they have due dates. And so it's a horizontal timeline. And if you have tasks or projects with dates, with due dates, like I said, they'll show up on the roadmap. There's templates. There are oodles and oodles of templates that we'll look at in just a minute. There's also completed, which are projects that are done. To add a new project, click on plus new project over here. Give it a name. Get clients. The name of this project. And then we can, and this project can have a due date. It can be assigning you the tags. You can add a block in here. So you can give different types of checklists, bullet lists, numbered lists, letters and paragraphs. So it can be like a resource document pretty much, if you want it to be, or just a checklist of action items that have to be done. What's really cool about Taskade when you're in this project view is you have a start call button right up here. So you can start a video call or an audio call through the computer with anybody who's on your team working on this project as well. And you can share your screen. You can work on stuff together in here at the same time, or you can be working on different things together, but you're just on the phone helping each other and then you check off your tasks in this list that you create. You can also chat and share files. So you can do all of that over in this panel on the right-hand side over here. As far as task management goes, that's really all you need to have. As long as you train your people on how to use it, and it's pretty easy to use. As you saw, the hierarchy is pretty straightforward. The only thing I like to see in Taskade is more automations. And they say they're working on it, so hopefully there'll be more automations coming. But the project management itself is pretty straightforward and simple. And you should be able to get your team up and running here pretty quickly. And this is also the free version of Taskade we're looking at. And so you should be able to get your team up and running in here pretty quickly. What's also nice is the templates that I mentioned earlier. Go to templates. These are found all over the place. But usually if you go to a project, start a new project, and then create a template, or you can import. You can also browse templates. There's also some options down here for various starter templates. I'm going to go to browse templates. So we can see how many there are, and there are a lot. I don't know the exact number, but there's quite a few. And chances are there's going to be a template in here that is going to fit pretty much what you need. You can tweak it a little bit for your own needs, or maybe it's perfect. You can just use the template and run with it. As you can see, there are a lot of templates. Let's open one of these. Let's do school project plan. Let's use that template. We're going to put it into hiking camp and here's our template and you might also notice this doesn't look like a regular project management task list 
there's different colors of highlighting, there's emojis, there's indented lists, there's checklists. And so it's much more visually appealing, especially in dark mode. You have light mode as well, if you don't want dark mode. And once you have a list of things in this list view, we can also quickly change to the board view. And we now have our project tasks in a Kanban board display. You can also switch to the action display, which is more like a spreadsheet. Within the three dots, you have a lot of options for things you can do. You also have a timer to track time. And down below here, you have a lot of options for formatting. And this is in any view. So if I go back to the main list view, click into anywhere, we have all these options for styling and making the list look more engaging and a lot more fun to use. And we also have the mind map view, which breaks the whole project into a mind map. And then the org chart view. And these are built on the fly from the task list. So any task list you create can show up that way. For example, if we go back to the blog project, right, the first blog is a really simple project I made with five things. And all I did was add a block, make it a checklist, give it a title, and write those five things. That's it. And if I go to the board view, it has those broken apart. If I go to the action view, it has our spreadsheet view. There's our mind map. And there's our org chart. It's pretty basic because it's just that one little list. But what I'm trying to say is you make the list here or you make the list in any one of these views and then every other view just works. Taskade reformats it to be exactly how you need it. Within any task, within any part of this list, you can assign due dates, assign people to do the work, comment, upload files from your computer, Google Drive, Dropbox, Instagram, Box. You can embed from YouTube, Loom, Vimeo, Wistia, Figma, Jam, InVision, SoundCloud, Typeform, Whimsical, and you have the time tracker. Every single list item or block can be moved around. Just click on those six dots that appear when you hover over areas, and you can click around. You can also highlight more than one. So you can highlight all of those and then press tab. As you check off items, you also see a progress bar up here. The length of the progress bar is determined by how many items are in your list, and that's calculated on the fly, of course. You can also star a list, a task list. You can star lots of different things in here. And if you go to the starred list here, it shows what you've starred. There's also a calendar, which you can set up to one-way or two-way sync with Google Calendar, right over here. Connect Google Calendar, and then all of your existing meetings and, and appointments and what have you will show up in this calendar, as well as due dates you set for projects and tasks inside of Taskade. You can also assign specific tasks to people, which we saw, but we didn't actually do. So if I go into the blog post again, click on this little plus icon, we can assign it to me. We can give it a due date of the 11th, save. We can have that repeat if you want. If this is a weekly, daily, yearly thing, you can have your tasks constantly repeating. In the plus here, we can also do the things we saw earlier, comment, upload file, embed, and have the time tracker. On the left-hand side here, we see this little green check mark in the bubble which means we can change the format of whatever the item is on the right here. Let's make it heart-shaped for the checkbox, just for something different. Now that we have a task assigned to me with a due date, if I go back out here and we go to tasks, I have a task showing here as upcoming, November 11th. If I go to the clock up here and then go to my tasks, it's gonna show all the tasks that are specifically assigned to me. And so everybody will have this view personalized to them. So whatever their tasks are, they'll show up right in here. That's also something that's really important in a project management app because you don't want to see the entire company's tasks every day. Maybe sometimes you do to get a, a big picture of what's happening, but most of the time you're going to want to see your tasks and the stuff you have to work on. And so that's super handy. And you're also able to turn dark mode on or off if you want. If you don't like dark mode or if it's during the day, turn it off. If you want it on at night, turn it back on. You can also change the language. This is a list of supported languages up till right now, up to this recording. We also have a list of keyboard shortcuts, quite a few of them for power users. This will help you work a lot faster. And I like dark mode, so I'll put that back on. And we also have our settings. 
in which we can take care of our general settings, like connected accounts, Google, Apple, Facebook, Twitter. You can see who's logged on on the Sessions tab. And there's the Billing tab. Credits for referrals. If you want to refer friends, you can get credits towards your account. Currently, there, currently for integrations, there's a calendar feed and the two-way sync with Google. And notifications allow you to receive notifications about various things happening on the platform. And then archives. This is where you have archived spaces. So whenever you have a space you don't need anymore, you can just archive it and then save it for later. Or you can delete it, then it's gone forever, then you can't recover it. At least if it's in the archive, all that work you put into setting it up and all the tasks in there and all the projects, those can all just live on forever in the archive. And then you can revive them if you need to in the future. Something else that's very unique with Taskade that I haven't seen in other project management platforms, if you go into any project list or whatever view you choose, any project document like we see here, if you click on the three dots up in the top right, you can go down to version history and that will show changes that happened in here. You can click on any one of these and see what the changes were. I didn't do any major changes as you can see, but whatever changes happened, you can see them in here and you can restore the document to a point in the past if something went terribly wrong, which could potentially save you a whole lot of work and even guesswork, not knowing what was changed, what which tasks were done, which weren't, and what have you. You can just restore back to a certain point and it'll restore it right back to what it was at that time. That's a really unique feature that I have not seen anywhere else in project management software. You also have a project history. This little paper icon with a clock on it will show you changes made in the history of what happened in this document. This is different from the version history. This just shows you a visual representation of what was done. The version history has actual versions of the document you can revert back to if you need to. But this is a pretty unique feature among project management software. I've seen this in other software like Google Docs, Google Sheets, things like that where you have a project history. I have not seen it in project management. So that's pretty cool. There's also a great assortment of apps. Down here you can see we have the Apple iPad app. We have a Chrome extension for team tasks, notes, and video chat as a Chrome extension, which is pretty cool. We have Taskade in the Google Play Store. So you can use it on Android. We have a Windows app. So it's a desktop version of, not a version, but a desktop app that will sync with your Taskade account. So all your projects and everything syncs right to your desktop. You can also have the same thing for a Mac. You can get that right here. And you can also get it for your phone. Mobile apps include Android, iOS. Browser extensions work on Chrome, Firefox, and Edge. And desktop apps are listed right here. Even Linux and the Snap Store as well. So that covers pretty much any device that your team might want to access Taskade with or any apps they use on a regular basis. And so that's fantastic. You don't see that very often. For even the high-level project management systems and, pr and platforms, they don't have this many different types of apps that you could use. And if you go to taskade.com, You'll find a lot of information about other things that Taskade can do. But we cover pretty much the, the main ones in this video. But here you'll also have use cases. So you can check out what use cases Taskade is currently being used for and can be used for. You can also see the templates in action before you get an account. And you can also go to resources and check out the tutorials and guides, which will get you up to speed with pretty much anything you want to accomplish with Taskade. And if you've forgotten already, I'm going to remind you, because you're a WP Learning Labber, you can have a free account, a free upgrade to the Pro version. If we go to pricing over here, we see a free forever, which would actually cover most people's use cases. We have a Pro version for unlimited for 5 bucks a month per member, and then 20 bucks per month per member. This one's coming soon. So right now you can choose this upgrade right here and save 5 bucks a month. Get it for free for the first 100 people that use the code WP Learning Lab, all one word, in the checkout. So if you go to Choose Unlimited, then you just sign up with your Google account and email, not as a guest though, sign up with one of these two options, and then you'll be put into your Taskade account, which looks like the one we've been working with. Then you go to the gear and you go to Billing, and you click on Unlimited Plan, and then you choose Unlimited, and then when you're checking out, there's gonna be a field for a coupon. In that field, you type in 
WP Learning Lab, all one word, just like this. And then that's going to give it to you for free. And that's for the first 100 people that are watching this video who use that code. After the 100, it's not going to work anymore. So if you like what you see with Taskade, I encourage you to go to the site, sign up, and use that coupon code and get yourself an account and start using it. Because tools like this can make you way more productive if you use them. Just having them isn't going to make you more productive. You actually have to have them and then use them. Taskade's taking care of the having a part or buying a part because they're giving you two for free. Now all you have to do is use it. So I encourage you to click on the link in the description down below. Use this coupon code. Get yourself your Taskade account and start using it to streamline your business and scale even faster. If you're interested in managing clients and doing services for clients, check out this video right here for WPMU Dev, where you can manage all kinds of web services for your WordPress customers, and you can use Taskade to manage those projects. So check out that video right there. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.